good morning everybody it's january 2nd 2023 Woo! all right but i want to tell you 2023 was awesome <laughs> it was the best year ever and that's because i took the steps no you didn't hear me wrong i said 2024 this is a great day now why would i say that i want you to plan your year and this is how i do it this is this is what i do and i hope it helps you pretend it's january 1st 2024 2023 was the best year ever and it's because you did the things that you wanted to do Everything that you want to do, everything you planned, you did. Now, that doesn't mean it was a perfect year. That doesn't mean that there wasn't some challenges and some hiccups and some things. But it was a great year. And the reason it was a great year is because you made it that way. And this is what I do every year. This is an exercise I learned by Dean Graziosi and then modified it a bit. But this is a fantastic exercise to help you realize what it is that you need to do to make 2023 the best year ever. <coughs> it's a really simple process. And let me, I'm gonna grab my, show you that I, I am doing exactly what I'm gonna be teaching you today. Here is proof of my homework. I did several, several things this year. And as proof of my homework of what I'm going to teach you to do right now today. Pretend it's January 1st, 2024. You're looking back over the year and it was an amazing year. Why was it an amazing year? What happened? What did you do? What, <coughs> excuse me, what trips did you take? What, uh, you know, did you graduate from school? Did you get a raise? Did you start your own business? What was it that made it such a great year? And that's what I want you to do is pretend that it's January 1st, 2024 and write that it's best year ever because you're going to write down it was the best year because and you're going to just allow your brain to free think. This is what I'm talking about. This, this is what I'm talking about right here. Well, I had another wonderful year. This year focus was connection and it worked out beautifully. Renee and I continued to do things that, excuse me, Renee and I continued doing our weekly getaways. We did these two to, and we got in three times, three this year. Each one was better than the last. One of them was a cruise. I love crew and then I just continue to go on but that's an example of what it is it was the best year ever because and I write down and I just allow my brain to free flow free flow whatever what <laughs> paper shredder free th free free flow whatever I think of what it doesn't matter even if it's a little outrageous maybe I wanted to go do some bungee jumping maybe I wanted to uh, just really connect with my children and that's one of the things I talked about this year my focus for 2023 was connection connecting better with my children connecting better with my my higher power my God Heavenly Father connecting better with <coughs> friends and and other family members it was all about connection and that's what I focus on this year and I do it in a way after you write this then you'll be able to go back through it and highlight the things that made it the best year ever so I go I'm gonna lower the camera just a bit here to make sure you see this so I go back through and I read okay it was the best year because oh we went on a cruise we did this we did that we did that you know and I go through and I highlight everything now I haven't highlighted it because I did not want to, I wanted you to see the raw first. I go back through and I highlight these things. And one of the things that I mentioned is that Renee and I, that's my wife, 
we do our a uh, couple of weeks where we got away just the just the two of us we got away and i said we did three this year well i highlight that just like i go through i underline it or I get a highlighter I highlight that because that's something that popped up to me my subconscious knew and i felt inside is really important to do this year is to get away three times just beautiful and i just just the two of us get away three times this year and for a week it's 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 to really bond and connect and to go back to the courting days i'm going to lift this back up so that we there we go so really get back to the courting days get back to those times uh, where we sit and we talk and where it's not about children we found that the first week is I mean, the, the first couple of days is about talking about children, talking about business, talking about, you know, all these different things. And then it's on the third and fourth day. So we've already got half the week that we start rediscovering each other, our likes, our dislikes, what's changed. Like maybe I liked something before and I don't like it anymore. Well, this is our time to talk about that. And so that is really important to me in my relationship and part of my year of 2023 for connection. So I, I'll go through and I highlight whatever it is that comes up. It might be, I did put down that it was gonna be a cruise. So that's another one. So I'd highlight cruise. Then I, I go down as another one to connect more with my children. It's to go fishing at least once a month. So I highlight that. Then what I do is because I know what I want to make it a better year. I'm starting to design my life. I'm living a life to my design, not just letting it to flow, not reacting to everything. I'm actually taking control of my life. I'm doing those things that are going to make it even better. And so, <coughs> excuse me, I want to challenge you to do this exercise. Again, it's really simple. Pretend it's January 1st, 2024. 2023 was an amazing year. It didn't matter what happened. It was an amazing year. And write down what it is. What things happened that made it an amazing year. And as you do this, you're going to discover the goals you have for this year. And then you can break down those goals. For instance, if one of mine's going to be a cruise... Well, what goes along with that? Well, I have to save money. I have to kind of figure out how much it's going to cost. I have to figure out what cruise it is. I can start researching and I can start dreaming and start to live in that space and raise my vibration and energy level to match that goal. And as I match that goal, things just start to happen. Maybe I find a really good deal and I actually don't have to spend several thousand dollars i only have to spend maybe a thousand dollars or maybe it's even less but because now i'm matching that goal i can achieve it much easier now i'm not saying <coughs> lingering cold sorry this year is to to have a great and amazing year doesn't mean you have to get everything done the likelihood of you getting it all done is not going to be a hundred percent and the reason that is is because you want to push yourself and so there's some goals that i have that it's going to be pretty difficult to hit but if i hit them great if i don't i just realize that's one thing that i can analyze and say okay is this something i want to work on next year or is this something that i want to change it up a bit or is it something i really decided i don't want this document that you're writing is a living document as you go throughout the year you're going to be reading this and you're going to start to discover that there's things that it's like you know what i actually don't think i need this i don't want to streamline my garden more or i don't want to you know what whatever it may be i'm just reading off some of my I can modify and change it 
Now, I'm not saying it got hard, so I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about modifying it and recognizing, you know, maybe I don't, I, I don't want to go once a month. I actually want to go twice a month to take my kids fishing because I'm realizing that it's connecting even more. And since for me, this year is about connection, I'm going to be using that as my lens. I'm going to be using that as what things do I need to do to make and improve that connection even more. I've got a daughter who's serving a mission for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in Bangkok, Thailand. And I've got to think, how can I connect more with her? Maybe it's sending, you know, a, a paper letter, or maybe it's actually sending her some messages of improvement and motivation and excitement through messenger because that's the way we we communicate Wh whatever it may be then i've got a son who's graduating what is it I, I this this is his last time that he's really going to be living at home because he's going to be going off to school he's going to be doing other things in life and if i don't take this time i miss it but a lot of times we miss things because we don't design it. We just react. We're constantly reacting. <coughs> and so I want you to take this opportunity to design your life the way you want it to be. And live that design life. Because when you do, that's when you have an extraordinary life. And that's when you have an exciting life. That is when you are passionate and motivated and just every day wake up with enthusiasm because it's the life that you have already realized would make it the best year ever if you have any questions let me know but i want to challenge you take this opportunity write down it was the best year ever because and then go back and highlight those goals because those are the goals that really make a difference to you. Those are the goals that are really going to change your life. And if you need help with a design life, if you need help in helping you move to the next level in life, let me know. I do one-on-one -on -one mentoring and I would love to help you take it to the next level. You are amazing. Believe it and have a great day.